hello everyone welcome to the channel today i'm going to show you how you can save your song on your ipad and export it for whatever reason you need it to be exported for so the first thing is once you've created your songs let's say i just created this track over here and i'm done with it all you need to do is make sure you have saved it by just simply doing that you see all that is once you tap this little paper icon there it saves now any song you want to export here is pretty much ready to go all you got to do is follow these instructions that i'm going to lay down here the next thing you do is let's say we wanted to export the twala song here is you would just put your finger on it for a little bit this is the ipad again just so you're aware and then go to share over here once you go to share you can see here that you have your song that you can export it into so tap to send your song as a stereo audio file you can choose additional options in the following dialog, which is what we're gonna do. Now you see here, you have the opportunity to choose the quality you want the song to be in, whether it's low quality, medium quality, high quality, iTunes Plus, you get that opportunity to do that. And once you're done, you can actually do some additional naming here. If you want it, put your artist name, the composer, the album, you can do all that stuff too, and also actually create a cover image, which is really cool. By default, it's just the GarageBand one. Now, once you're done doing that, the next thing you want to do is just simply click Share. Now, once you click Share, you're going to see that the menu pops up. This nice menu here that allows you to share it on all these platforms over here. Look at that. You didn't know you could do that, huh? Now you do. You can airdrop it. You can do all that stuff. But let's say you wanted to just save it on your file or save it in your files on your iPad. That's very simple, which is mostly what a lot of people do so that you can then use it for other stuff. So you just go to save the files over there that I just tapped. And once you tap save the files over here, as you can see, it exports the song. So now the song is exporting. Depending on how long your song is, it might take a hot minute. Now we have it. So here we do. As you can see, we've already exported this song at some point in time over here, and it's in an untitled folder, but you have the opportunity to pick different folders to save your songs into. As you can see here, you can go on your iPad and select a brand new folder. You can go on your iCloud drive if you want to save it there, anywhere. And once you click, we're just going to name this two because there's another folder there, not to confuse it, and you click save. Your song is now in that folder where you should be able to then locate it when you are done. As you can see under Untitled Folder, your file is over there. But that's how you can save it and export it on your iPad into a song. And you can simply, again, click on it there and then use it for whatever task that you need it used for i hope this was helpful if it is like the video subscribe to the channel so you can see easy ways to make hits and use garage pan ipad for productivity till next time take care